counted in the trillions, insects vastly outnumber any other creatures on Earth. Florida tropical biologist James Kastner has been studying bugs for 25 years, and the field is definitely growing. Well, approximately 10 years ago, the estimate of total insect species in the world was maybe two to three million. More recently, there's been work done in the rainforest with fogging the treetops and the canopy, and this has now raised the estimate of total world insect species to 30 to 40 million. Insects usually go unnoticed or are shunned altogether. They're maligned for spreading infection, destroying crops, and otherwise making life miserable. But without carnivorous insects and their appetites, the carcasses of dead animals would remain where they fell until bacteria consumed them. Not everyone finds bugs distasteful. Studying insects and other so-called lower life forms is nothing new. It's just becoming more widely practiced and providing better information. Forensic entomologist Jason Bird believes insects have a lot to teach us. Forensic entomology has been around since uh, 13th century China. Uh, it's been used extensively in uh, Europe and Australia, and it's uh, apparently it's pretty slow to catch on in the United States. Uh, it's really only had its current widespread use since uh, the 1950s, and just within the past 10 years alone, it has enjoyed a resurgence of popularity. Despite its obvious benefit to criminal investigation, forensic entomology is not a field of study sought out as enthusiastically as medicine or law. The ranks of forensic entomologists are slim. At most, a few dozen insect specialists in the United States regularly assist with murder cases. People see bugs not as partners, but as pests. Unfortunately, most people treat insects as something creepy and something to recoil and be afraid from. And most of this is a cultural prejudice or just not understanding what insects are all about. I think anybody who takes the time to study insects and to learn how they live, learn the extremely interesting behaviors that they show, can't help but become interested in them if not enamored with them. The benefits can be many to those detectives willing to overcome their really? distaste for bugs. Insects can make or break an investigation. That's the message brought on this day by insect scientist Neil Haskell, who has come to Wilmington, North Carolina. His mission is simple, to introduce law enforcement to the exotic world of bugs and their ability to crack difficult cases. The ultimate goal is to acquaint the law enforcement folks, the crime scene uh, investigators and uh, coroners, medical examiners with the, first of all, the importance of uh, using entomological evidence in uh, death investigations. Second of all, to train those uh, investigators how to collect, recognize and collect uh, the proper specimens and then how to preserve it and how to uh, ship it and uh, uh, transfer, transfer it to a qualified forensic entomologist for uh, evaluation and analysis. <laughs>